Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix Monster Hunter Wilds from crashing. This guide is going to be going through all of the settings that you need to change to fix all kind of issues while you're playing the game. So to ensure to ensure that you get the better performance. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is always heading towards your settings. So for that, head over to settings on your PC. Then you have to go to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on if that is not already on. Then head over to graphics and then click on the browse button over here. Head over to the download location of Monster Hunter Wild in this list and then select monsterhunterwild.exe. Click on add and if that is already added over here, go down to find that application, head over to the performance tab and then click on high performance. Then click on save and this will ensure that you are utilizing your graphic card to render this game instead of your inbuilt graphics. Once that is done, head over to the last tab over here that is Windows Updates and make sure that you're always up to date with the latest version of Windows. Windows keeps on stabilizing bugs and other issues which might be causing performance issues with your game. So you might as well check by updating your Windows and if any updates are possible, you guys can update your PC and then restart once again. Step number two is updating your graphic card drivers and this is really essential because when the game was dropped there were new drivers dropped as well. I currently use an Nvidia graphic card so head over to your Nvidia app or your Nvidia GeForce Experience app, head down to the drivers section and then make sure that you're all using the 572.60 or graphic card driver release ahead of this because this added support for Monster Hunter Wilds and it features DLSS frame generation and super resolution. Well before moving ahead I've would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is heading over to the config files of your game and for that head over to Steam. Right click on your game and then head over to manage, then click on browse local files. Once you are here, what you guys have to do is find config.ini. It should be listed somewhere over here. Right click on this and then head over to open with notepad. Once you are in this file, what you have to do is change a few settings. First one is sampler quality. You wanna have to set it to bilinear. Just type in remove whatever you have over there and type in bilinear. Then you'll find something called volumetric fog control enable. You wanna have to set this thing to true. Vsync should be set to false. Then you guys have to locate the graphics slash DLSS tab over here and then you'll find something called frame generation mode. You wanna have to set this thing to off. You'll also have enable frame generation. You have to make sure that this is set to off because this might be causing the game to crash. Compatibility over here should be set to direct x12 if not already. After that scroll all the way to the bottom of this list until you find something called frame rate setting. You even have to set this thing to variable. Bloom enable should be set to false. And then over here, you'll find some of the ray tracing options that might be set to true. What you guys have to do is set this thing to false. So just type in false on every single one of them. Then scroll a bit down until you start finding these settings actually. What you guys have to do is set these values to zero. You'll find something called full screen mode. You wanna have to set this thing to true right over here. Motion blur enable should be set to false. And then simply press Ctrl and F key together. And at this point, what you guys have to do is type in frame gen over here and it will show you frame generation mode everywhere that it could be listed. In this file, it is only at two points. So you wanna have to make sure that both of them are set to off and false. Once every single one of these things are set over here, press Ctrl and S key together to save these settings and then simply close this. Head over to Monster Hunter Wild over here and then right click on this. Head over to the properties and then compatibility. 
Over here, you have to check on disable full screen optimizations and also check on run this program as an administrator. Try applying only these two settings and if it still doesn't work, check this option as well which is run this program in compatibility mode. Click on the apply button and check if that fixes your crash issue. Now next step is actually verifying your game files which is pretty obvious you wanna have to right click on your game, head over to properties, then install files and right over here you'll find something called verify the integrity of your game files. Once again, I would recommend you guys to do it if you're facing crashes because it might be that your internet might have been flickered and some of the files might have been corrupted and using this would fix the issue. Then head over to the DLC tab over here and then make sure to uncheck the high resolution texture pack if you have it added onto your game. This will free up additional 70 gigabytes of your hard disk space and it will also help you to save a lot of FPS. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then over here select your local disk C, click on the create button and then type in something that you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Monster Hunter Wilds crash fix pack and it consists a few programs Programs that might be really really helpful and beneficial for your PC. One of which is Visual C runtimes. These are the runtimes that are really required if you want to run your game and it might be that some of those are outdated or you might not have it installed on your PC. The game sometimes install it automatically but if that doesn't help you out you guys can come over here right click on install all and run it as administrator. It will start installing all of these VC redist files over here which will help you to update your Visual C runtimes to the latest version which will fix crashing issues. Next one is update the DirectX and DirectX is directly related to your graphic card and how it interacts with your PC. The DirectX version is the latest one available right over here which I have already added. To simply run it, you can right click and run it as administrator. Install DirectX on your PC. The installation window looks like this. Simply click on accept the agreement, click on next and then uncheck install the ping bar. You don't want any kind of bloatware coming onto your PC. Click on the next button and give it a while. It will automatically install that and once that is done, click on finish. The third tool over here is the clean cache tool which helps you to find and clear all kind of temporary files off of your PC because these contains your dump files and deleting them might cause crashing issues and black screen issues. Simply right click and run it as administrator and this simple screen will ask you to press any key to start deleting all temporary files of your PC. Hit any key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all of them. It is a good practice to keep doing it every now and then because it is really beneficial for gaming. Next one is the Monster Hunter Priority from my previous video. If you guys have not watched the best settings guide, head over to Monster Hunter Priority in which I have above normal, high priority and normal priority. These three registry files I have provided in this FPS pack and to run them, I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. For most people, it will be automatically set to high priority. So what you guys have to do is simply double click and run the high priority registry right over here. It will help you to set up the CPU priority class the correct dword values that will help you to optimize the performance of your games. So all of that is done, head back and simply close this folder. Now, next step is not a very great fix, but you can try it out. Head over to Windows Defender, simply search for Windows Defender and then head over to Windows Security. You'll find something called Virus and Threat Protection right over here, simply head over to that. Then click on Manage Settings right over here. You wanna have to disable real-time protection because this might be causing some of the files to be deleted before your game even runs. It might be causing some crashes. So try disabling it for a while, restart your PC, run the game and check if that works for you. So guys, that was all the quick and easy steps to fix crashing in Monster Hunter Wilds. I hope this guide helps you out and if it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and I hope that you guys can subscribe to my channel for more awesome guides like this. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.